Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Enrique and this is Easy Things to Draw. Today we're going to go over how to draw Yoda from Star Wars. And I'm going to do it in ink, kind of an ink style. And uh, let's kind of get into it, I guess. Uh, I'm going to be using this pencil right here. It's an ink, uh, Sketch and Wash Generals. It's really just going to be for the lay-in. And then there is uh, just kind of a regular fountain pen. And I'm going to be using a few microns. I'll tell you what I'm using as I use them, you know what I mean, as I decide to use them. Uh, for the most part, I'm going to try to do it in like regular pens that you can just kind of, you know, get anywhere. Uh, you know, so this is like one you can get anywhere, like pretty much. And I don't really know what it is, to be honest. It's just a generic fountain pen, really. So let's kind of get into it with this. Um, I already kind of have a little bit of it traced out here. His head looks kind of like a caricature head. It looks like a baby head where he has smaller cheeks and this huge freaking cranium. Then I'm going to draw just that general shape out. He's got giant ears. I don't know, proportion-wise, I would say it's just as long as this section, if not less. You know, his ears are very elf-like. Uh, and he is older, that's why I guess it kind of droop in this weird way. Hopefully it doesn't totally go out the screen. And, I mean, that's actually the general head. Uh, like, again, it's very similar drawing a child's head. He's got huge eyes. You know, I don't know if you knew that, but, uh, you know, the your eyes don't change size. It's the only part of your body that doesn't change size from birth, is your eyeballs. Uh, he has a really small nose as well. Like, everything about him is, like I said, childlike. The way they, they teach us to draw children at SeaWorld, you know what I mean, when you draw babies. And it has rivets in his head. Uh, let's go and see. That's all I'm going to need. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Just a reminder, this is on regular paper. This is on regular computer paper. Uh, see, that's all I need for me personally, and I'm going to kind of go in, and I'm going to try to find the shadows within his eyes, because we're doing an inking. It's going to be a very, very graphic image, right? And for me personally, I feel like that's enough. That's all I need to kind of get an idea. And then kind of take what I know about, uh, like, eyes in general, in terms of, like, you know, like human eyes, and kind of remix that. You'll find a lot, of, especially when you're drawing portraits, a lot of what you do will be, uh, you know, reminiscent of humans. Uh, of course, you'll 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 it'll be almost become like a strange, uh, almost like a habit or something. It could be a crutch, but the beginning is gonna you'll draw what you know. You got kind of droopy eyes. I've been watching a lot of the Star Wars uh, prequels. I just started got those. Uh, I've been watching a lot of prequels lately. And the reason I watch that is uh, not because they're good movies, because they're really not. Most of the, the prequels are pretty terrible. Uh, but they are very good to learn from, like what not to do, what to do. Uh, you know what I mean? So anyways, that's kind of the biggest reason I, I kind of watch those. Yoda. I'm going to get one eye. Maybe I'll make him do an expression or whatever. I don't like the straight up even view. And like right now, for example, I'm outlining stuff. You know, it doesn't mean I'm gonna keep all this stuff visible. I'm, some of it might be shaded in in black. Uh, I did like in the prequels the way Yoda was jumping around. Really cool. I thought that was really neat. It was neat to look at. I know some people think it ruined the story of him. You know, like it's a contradictory thing for him to do that. Uh, I don't know. I still like it though. I think he should have been, he could, you know, I just like it, the way it looked. Uh, I'm going to probably start drawing a lot more Star Wars stuff, too, because Star Wars the movie is going to come out, what, end of the year or something like that? That, that Force Awakens? So we'll see. I'll kind of get into that a little bit. And I'm slowly tracing things out. As I'm doing this, I know that whatever I put down is permanent, you know what I mean? Because this is a fountain pen. It's not like the other pen, you know, where I use the ballpoint pen. I can kind of scratch things in. And lightly scratch them in, and they'll almost go away when I when I put something else in. This is a little different. Uh, once I set this down, it is there, a very, very dark, dark spot within the paper. So it's a little bit different. A 
little bit different in terms of like you, you, the choices that you make. And, and the truth is, the more you use pen, the better you get uh, because it forces you to think before you put down the stroke. And that's why I highly recommend uh, the pen in general, whether it be this pen or the fountain pen. You know what I mean? It will really, really force you in ways you've never realized. Uh, and when you go back to pencil, you'll be like, wow, this is easy. Or not easy, but it'll, it'll basically... It does something subconsciously to your brain uh, where, you know, you, you, you'll you feel better. You're like, wow, now I can actually erase where before you really couldn't. I haven't watched the Clone War stuff, though. That's something I haven't seen. The cartoon or anything? I should probably watch that. I'm really curious to watch that. I'm more of a Star Trek guy, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, in the comments, uh, you guys a Star Wars person or a Star Trek? Uh... If you even have an opinion on that, let me know. Boom, boom. Putting in a little bit more here. One thing I didn't know about the... Uh, something I actually just found out, not that this is like a little factoid thing, but I didn't know that they replaced okay like in episode one when episode one came out they had a puppet yoda and then they replaced that puppet with a cg yoda then in the next release of episode one i didn't know that that's bizarre that's super super bizarre oh yoda Going along here, the laugh line, he's still old regardless. You know, obviously he's a little bit younger than in the other version, but he's what he's supposed to be like 900 years old. There's only so much older he's going to look. Maybe give him like a little mild expression here. He has a kind of Grinch thing going on. He's got like a very big space between his nose and uh, his lip. Mouth. Now a lot of this we're gonna have to be deciding on what is it I'm gonna put in here. You know, uh, his cheeks actually kind of flare out uh, toward the upper part here, actually. So I might change that a little bit. I might pull that up. Something over here on this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this area and try to like mess with it, and then hopefully I'll get a better image because I'm not really liking it. It's looking a little bit too cartoony for me, uh, which I guess is part of the point. But I do want to make it a little, a little better. So I'm going to go into it right now and then. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to go into these small wrinkles here, and I'm trying to get some kind of depth out of this thing. So I'm going into smaller details a little prematurely, but it's just something that I do to kind of comfort myself, essentially. Where, like, you know, I, I try to make the feel, I, make, I try to make myself feel like, okay, the drawing's going okay, by already throwing in the detail there, and it does something to my mind where I'm like, okay, it's it's still worth working on it. You know what I mean? Whereas before I would be like, I don't know if it's not coming out right. I'm like, why am I still working on this? So what I do is I try to go into more detail first in one area uh, to kind of tell my brain that yeah this is worth uh, actually still working on and it'll it'll be all right it'll be okay you know huh <laughs> just train your brain like uh, it's a little kid or something but um, you know everyone's got to do that at some point I think uh, you don't always have to do that it's just that you know sometimes for me I've never been a kind of guy that completely follows the process. I, I like bouncing around a lot and maybe that's a bad habit. That might be something to work on for me. Uh, I'm going over here up to the cranium. I'm going to do that side in a second too. 
As you can see, I'm working all over the place. I'm going to go to the cranium. I think the cranium might actually have to be a little bit bigger. Uh, he's got these little rivets on his head. And they go all the way up here. Give him like somewhat of a bigger head. It kind of fans out. It's one of those things where I never really noticed much about all the bumps in his head, but until you look at it, and then you're like, whoa, he's got a lot of bumps on his head. Uh, I'm going to go into these small, like, you know, kind of wrinkled details on him. And let me speed up the video, and uh, we'll... Oh, I'm sorry, not yet. Actually, let me go into his ear over here. This ear winds around. His ear isn't exactly like an elf, like it, it, as anatomically correct as our ear, you know. Or if you look at like Spock's ear, like that's like a real ear. It's just got a flared out area. This is like like a I don't know, like an elephant ear or something. That'd be that side. Take care of the other end over here. Pull that prematurely. And I think over, like, for the most part, I have the outer borders of his head, so I feel pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going into this side. I'm gonna have to speed. I'm gonna speed through that to not make it so boring. So let's get going. Okay, so the way this works is you kind of have to be patient and you slowly start, you know, like digging into smaller details, you know what I mean? One of those biggest things I told you about would be the patience part of it, especially when you're drawing like an older character. Just kind of be patient with it, don't rush it. And I'm throwing in little nicks and little wrinkles and scratches uh, as much as I can. I'm slowly darkening in the areas of, of value that I think are the darkest, you know, maybe like the pit of the ear or right here, maybe the pit of the eye. I'm slowly kind of going over it more. I'm not blotching in there quite yet, like not totally filling it in there quite yet, but I probably will. Um, I'm just throwing in more and more kind of cross hatches, you know, I mean, the more netting, you know, that there is, the darker that area will be. Uh, and that's essentially what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to show off the form through line without actually totally filling it in. Uh, if you guys know of a Star Wars character you want me to draw, let me know. Uh, it could be in ink or in pencil, uh, either one. But uh, give me uh, give me an idea and I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to continue with this. Uh, I'm probably going to go in here. Also the pit of the nose. That's pretty dark as well. That's the darkest part of the nose there. Uh, let me continue on it, and I'll, I'll, you know, another break, I'll talk to you.
so it's like, okay, if you know that you, if you, if you take too much acetaminophen, then that would discourage you from taking the, the opiate. Mm -hmm. That's Okay, so what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to take a uh, kind of a thicker, a thicker kind of ink-like pen. I, I don't really have one with me. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get do what I usually do. I'm going to bold the outside of this to kind of contain it. It's just kind of Yoda's head, essentially. Yoda's floating head. Uh, is that like a marker or something? Let me look around here. Okay, actually, I found a brush tip. I found a brush tip here. It is a uh, Pigma brush. I'm going to go along the borders to kind of contain a lot of these shapes, the way I do this in many of my drawings. Trying to keep it steady. Keeping it steady. That's pretty much it. That's one way to ink Yoda. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. If you guys have any other suggestions, uh, please let me know in the comments. Check out my Patreon, guys. I had a couple of Patreons, but uh, I don't think I have any right now. So please, check out my Patreon. I'm going to post it on the page right after this. I appreciate it. I need, uh, you know, want to keep pushing this channel hard. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. See ya.